Hey everyone, I'm Ultraviolent4, and this is something a little out of the ordinary. Welcome to week one of what's going to be at least two weeks of the Crawl Sudden Death Challenges tournament. If you're not familiar with this tournament, I'll put a link in the description. Unfortunately, it's a bit too late to sign up for it this time, but it's been a lot of fun, so if you missed it, catch it next time. Yep. Uh, the way that it works is once a week, you get a combo. See down here, we're at week three at the moment. Uh, and everyone plays that one combo that week. Uh, you get two attempts so long as on the first one you die before your experience level five. So for most practical purposes, it's like you get one attempt and then it's a sudden death challenge. If you die, you're out for the week. Uh, let's have a quick look at the rules. Uh, you get weekly points every week, so most of these just follow your standard through room game where you're killing a unique, finishing a branch, getting a rune, and so on. Uh, but in addition, there are a couple of extra things. Every week, the game gives you three different gods that you can pick from, and if you win with one of those gods and you never change the whole time, you get an extra point. There are also tier 1 and tier 2 bonuses which have been really quite difficult so far. Uh, yeah, week one was probably not so hard. You had to enter lair, or no, sorry, you had to enter a branch, and then you had to get a rune without having any of your skills being over 11. So that wasn't too bad, but week two and three, well, you'll see week three soon, uh, are really quite hard. Week two was you had to get slime as your first rune, and you could only go into lair and dungeon beforehand. Uh, but in addition to those weekly points, there's a raft of bonus points here where you can do them once per tournament. Um, I've done a lot of these already. Uh, the ones I haven't done is to win a game without entering lair, which i definitely not doing this time. So that's why I said at least two weeks. Because the week that I attempt that, I'd like to show you that too, because I think it'll be interesting. Uh, but for this round, I'm going to be trying to get a win in under 50,000 turns. Um, in week one, I was well on track to do that. And then I died on my orb run at about 43,000 turns or something. It was horrible. Anyway, uh, we're at week three. So let's have a look. Uh, you can see here, it's a Barakian Hunter. It should not be Barakian. It should just be Baraki Hunter, I believe. I've changed the names. Uh, so two bonuses here. The tier one is to enter the temple in less than 3,000 turns, which is pretty hard, I would say. Uh, there's a lot of luck in that one, depending on whether your temple is on D4 or it's on D7. So pretty high variance there. But this second tier two bonus is really rough. Collecting a rune in less than 15,000 turns. So... Uh, I was watching, well I've seen the replay of MIBE, or Minotaur Berserker. Um, if we quickly jump over to the standings, he's, well he was, he was winning. He's tied with Crying Noob, so those two are doing really well. And they, have they both got the bonus? Yes, okay, so I'm in a lot of trouble. Alright, the pressure's on. Uh, but for Minotaur Berserker, he got his rune in the snake pit with 150 turns to spare he was on 19 HP or so and he got teleported out of the orb chamber by a naga doing teleport other on him so he only just made it in and he's a very good player um, and speaking of good players this week has actually been pretty savage we've got some at the top here these games look promising uh, but for actual wins I've only been two so far and if we scroll down we're seeing a lot of red this Baraki Hunter and these turn count challenges are really proving to be difficult. Um, it's pretty nasty because in order to do turn count, you sort of got to push ahead. So you're going to be under leveled, but we're playing a species that moves slowly. And in addition, we're playing a ranged background. So ranged backgrounds tend not to be very good for turn count runs because you use extra turns picking your ammo up again. So, yeah, makes it harder. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say about this. 
Uh, oh, no, I should talk about how we've got a bit of time pressure in this. So um, I haven't started right on the dot on the start. Uh, like Some people have already won. So I think I've got five days now to do this whole run and record it. So if you consider the normal run, I probably do about 10 episodes over 10 days. I'm going to have to be a bit quicker in this. So we're playing at a slightly faster pace than I normally would. Probably going to explain things a bit less um, and just play them. And also you've got a budget thumbnail for that reason because I don't have time to make a really detailed one. And also we might just die in one episode. I'm actually really scared about this. Got to make sure that I'm doing 0.22 and not trunk. That is a mistake I made last time in round two. Um, yeah, I was I was in lair and then one of uh, someone who was spectating my game asked me if I was doing a practice run, <laughs> and I was like, nope, this is my real real run. Oh no, it's a trunk game. Rip. Okay, so we're in we're in stable. I'm super nervous about that. I watched myself just click it. All right. Yeah, this is definitely stable because highlighting the last thing I played. Oh, another note. This does not count for the purposes of our streak. So, um, because I'm playing this at the same time as the other games usually, see in the top right up there, we're playing on not the normal ultraviolet floor account. This is my sort of tournament account, I guess you might say. Um, yeah, so if we die here, we don't lose our streak. Although, I don't want to die here because I'm trying to win this CSDC tournament. What are we playing? A Baraki. It's in the advanced one. We're playing a Hunter. Where is that in the list? I can't see it. D. Hunter is a warrior. I guess that makes sense. Uh, and there's a bit of a choice here. Um, I sort of decided just beforehand. I've been thinking about this for the past two days. Uh, whether to pick a hunting sling or a hand crossbow. So I wouldn't pick javelins and nets. As much as I love nets, I don't love throwing. And you have the least ammunition out of all these starts. I also wouldn't pick short bow because it's two-handed. And then you're losing your ability to use a shield. Um, and Baraki are really good with shields. So that would be a shame. It's between sling and hand crossbow. Hand crossbow does more damage than a hunting sling. But you're also likely to run out of ammunition. And that's especially nasty if you don't find a good weapon. Uh, whereas a hunting sling is a bit less damage, but because you can use stones in it, you'll find them all over the place. Um, so it's sort of like the more consistent one, I would say. Um, the thing about Baraki is that your aptitudes are generally pretty good. So you can be flexible in terms of finding weapons in the dungeon, which is maybe an argument for hand crossbow, but almost arbitrarily I've decided that I want to go the hunting sling. I don't know, it's a really close call. There's no hugely strong reason in there, uh, other than, oh wow, we're spawning in a box with enemies in view, isn't that nice? Alright. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our 20 sling bullets. Uh, we've got a short sword as well. So don't be like Ver uh, Vajrapani. Watched him do his one. He started, there was a dagger, a plain dagger in sight of his starting character. Walked a few tiles, picked it up, wielded it. It was minus three cursed. <laughs> don't do that. You've already got a short sword. Uh, you should not be trying any items, even plain ones, until you've got remove curse, unless you're willing to lose access to your sling. Alright, so we're going to focus our slings. I'm probably going to leave fighting and dodging on. Uh, Baraki have extra line of sight, so in a way it's good for ranged, in another way it's really bad for doing turn count runs because hard to avoid things. Uh, we move slowly, we have the ability to hop. And because we're a frog, we can swim through water. Okay, those things all make sense. Um, sort of got two options in how I want to play this. So we're trying to get to the temple by 3,000 turns. Because I know I've got one start over, if I die before experience level 5, 
what I might do is just dive super super hard and then just go a bit reckless and then if we die then I'll come back and do a more safe one which I think might be my play because we've got a downstair right in vision um, I need to get rid of the old macros let's just clear all those I'm really really nervous by the way it's super nervous okay let's save our macros um, hi all right well slings are pretty good so that's nice uh, I should have been using f dot not tab because that sling bullet that I fired has just gone really far away so now I have to walk further to pick it up uh, which is a mistake we've got a couple of downstairs here though uh, so we're going to get our ammo back, we're going to pick up this thing. Um, I wonder if uh, we're getting sucked in by more potions everywhere. He has a Dagger of Venom. Okay, never mind, this is totally worth. Uh, dagger of Venom. Look at this, we can't even kill him. There we go. Uh, dagger of Venom makes all of this walking up here 100% worth it. And in fact, I don't care if it's cursed. Uh, we're going to wield that. Uh, that's perfect. Uh, it's... Probably not as good as it would be on a normal speed species because I can't dagger something and then walk back and kite it because we're slow. Uh, but it's still really, really strong in the early game. I'm tempted to start training short blades. We've got a plus one aptitude, but no, I think we just go we go all in slings. Alright. Um, our hunting slings plus one, so it's never going to be better than this plain one. So let's keep going. I think I'm going to ignore that kobold. We're just going to dive like crazy. Oh, right. I didn't mention the gods for this week. So we have Gozag, we have Mekleb, and we have Dith. Um, I think of those three, Dith is clearly the old one out. While Dith is a really good game, a uh, god for winning the game, and it's really good for ranged characters, uh, he does not really help you when you're trying to get a rune in 15,000 turns. Um, yeah, he's better later on in the game once you've got Shatterform. So that's not the pick. It's got to be Gozag or Mekleb. And I think my preference would probably be for Gozag. Mekleb's good. The healing on kills would really help with um, not having to rest. But... I feel like, again, he's probably going to do less at um, carrying a rune. I'm thinking, maybe we'll talk about that later. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself a bit. But I think my preference would be Gozag. Um, this metal wall here is suggesting uh, that these are probably... Oh, and green walls over there. These might be altars. So rather than just walk to these downstairs, I'm going to test these out. And hey, more sling bullets. Uh, Oh, we picked up one stone. That's nice, I guess. Okay, that's Wu. Wu is not one of our three gods, so we're not not worshiping Wu. Uh, here's an adder. It's all right. Uh, slings are really strong, and we've got four point four sling skill. We've got, we've got three of some scroll. Uh, this is an, I happen to recognize this. This is an Okawari vault. Um, so we're not going in there, or are we? These guys all have stones, don't they? Maybe they don't. No, they just have the pole arms. All right, well, let's go back. Get our sling bullets again. So uh, not too helpful there in terms of finding one of our gods. Uh, here's a null, which we'll shoot before... It wakes up. Uh, let's go strength. Uh, we are experience level three. That's all right. Just got to make sure that I stay below five. And I'd really like to. Yeah, there we go. Venom it, and then I can hop away. And caught up again. So let's go the sling. 
I guess picking up gold is good if we're intending to go Zag too. Uh, note if you're ever doing a turn count speedrun, you don't ever want to rest with five. Uh, the way that you rest is you bread swing, or basically you do an action that's as slow as possible. So for instance, have a look in the top right hand corner where in brackets next to time, it's showing how long the previous action took. So when we're moving it's 1.2, if you're resting it's 1.0, and if I swing my sling, like I'm trying to attack with it, it's going to be 1.5. And the reason you're doing that is because even though each swing I do is 1.5 in time, it's only one turn. So check this out, 327.6 on time, um, you might be thinking, okay, so you've done 327 turns, wrong. I hit percent and it's we see we've only actually done 290 turns. It's because we've been doing slow actions. So wait, we're at, we're at 290. If I swing my sling, we go to 329 because it's another 1.5, but only turn 291. So by doing slow actions, we're actually healing more for fewer turns. And what's down there? It's, it was a no with something. I need to go to the other stair. It was slightly further away. Alright, let's go up. Uh, Snow's really scary in case you couldn't tell. Um, we're going to hop away. Oh, we got the tiny hop. Alright. Well, let's switch to our sling. This no could kill us. It can do 9 plus its flail. We get a start over, but oh yeah, I'd really rather not have to. Alright, well we didn't die. <laughs> uh, we're on really low HP. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of swinging with our sling here. Uh, if you don't want to do this manually, you can hit the insert button and it's going to ask you to repeat something. So for instance, I can say 30 times, swing up. And then if an enemy comes into vision when I'm doing that, it would stop. Whereas if I tried to manually swing really fast and an enemy came, I probably wouldn't notice. Let's go another, say, 50 turns. We've got to heal all the way back to full. All right, yeah, that, that null fight really hurt us for turn count. Uh, how about we go down and... I may as well be walking around picking up these sling bullets rather than standing there swinging. And I think we may as well test this stack of three scrolls. It's magic mapping. Okay. Oh, this is going to be absolutely fantastic in trying to find the temple. Uh, it helps us find... Wait, we already found the downstairs. Never mind. Alright, so what we can do is go down to D4. We can... Oh, I don't want to fight more adders right now. Uh, we can magic map straight away and hope that the temple's here. Is the temple here? It doesn't look like it. Nope. Uh, but we can just run to the next downstair, which is only just over there, and we can magic map again. We've got one more. And if it's not on D5, then... I don't know. We might have to fight some more stuff. Oh, I read the wrong one. It was fear. Oh, that was a big mistake. That could have been teleport or something. Uh, my bad. Okay, have we got the temple this time? Um, I don't think so, but we do have a lot of altars. No temple again. Uh, the floor above, were there any altars? Doesn't look like it. Alright, uh, well this is okay. We're still experience level 3, we've got to start over. In case this goes horrible. So we can run around and look at these altars. Oh wait, the altars don't matter, we gotta to get to the temple. Okay, never mind. I'm glad I realized that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Finding a god's irrelevant. We actually... Uh, we need to get to the temple, that's what the challenge is. Okay, never mind. Uh, here's a phantom. Uh, I don't want to fight a phantom, 100%. Um, how about we hop away from it? We did a small hop, that's okay. Do we really not have more stones in this? I guess we don't, because we haven't fought much stuff. 
Um, all right. So at best, it's a D6 temple. Okay, our downstairs are really far away. They're closer to the other stairs. So I probably need to stay on this floor. Uh, leaving all my sling bullets, but that's maybe okay. Um, I could also just take this more easy, as in more slowly. We're still only at 577 turns. Consider that we've got until turn 3000 to get there. We're not in a huge hurry. I'm going to check this upstairs. I regret that decision. Uh, we just met a D3 centaur. Fortunately, it's being blocked by the giant cockroach. So let's go back down and let's never come to this stair again. Uh, even just a D4 centaur is super deadly. A D3 one is asking to die, especially when you're a slow moving species like a Baraki. Like if you got caught in the open, like say you're just exploring around this floor and you walked out of this hallway and you're like, oh crap, there's a centaur. Uh, bad times. In fact, where is this other stair going? Is that anywhere close to it? No, we don't know. Oh, we do know. Hang on. No, we don't know. Okay, I guess it could be one of the two. We're not sure, apparently. Alright, uh, so we're not going back up that one. I should have my sling out. And I arguably should wait for Hot to come off cooldown. Is that the same Phantom or it's another one? Uh, that's another one. Because we're nowhere near where we were before. I see a stack of javelins, that's nice. Uh, throwing does cross train with slings, so having those javelins would be really good. Our issue is um, the phantoms is going to be really really annoying. Uh, it can hit for up to ten damage, which is a lot when we've only got thirty five max HP. Uh, our problem is that we've got both our stairs here. I could try to park the phantom up there, but I'm a bit worried about the jelly. Um, well, let's fight the jelly. Let's see if we can kill it. We can. All right. We. Oh right. I reached level five. Oh, I shouldn't have done that actually. Uh, now if we die, we're actually dead. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. All right. Well, in that case, I think we want to take it a bit easier. We know that the temple's not here. Uh, although I probably another another thing is that we could be testing these altars. Because if we can find Gozag now, we'll have access to Potion Petition, so that will really help us as we're trying to dive D6. Okay, well in that case, now that I unthinkingly went over um, experience level 5, I think I should be a bit more chill. Let's explore D5, or D4 I mean, and then let's get a bit more experience before we try to take on phantoms and things like that um, I want to put an exclusion or an annotation onto D3 to say there's a centaur there um, so now if I try to go up to D3 the game will warn me like are you sure you want to do that yeah well let's explore around Why can't I just shift to move? Uh, what would also be really nice if we could get uh, a bunch of uh, stones so we have more ammo. Actually, can we test? Okay, well, one of these stairs is going to go there, which is right near the centaur, but it's also right near whatever altar this is. Wait, we should we should be able to know which stair it is, shouldn't we? How do we not know where this goes? The stair is this one. The stair is this one. So surely this upstair that's telling me is unknown 
has to be that one. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, it has to be. Here's a helmet. Alright, that's nice. Uh, so, do I go up to see if that's Gozag and potentially die to a centaur? I think the answer is probably not. Um, orcs are very scary. Uh, can be wizards, can be priests. Uh, we don't have any curing, so that's a worry as well. Uh, we know this downstairs is going to take us back to the phantom, so I think I don't do that. Got three of some potion, that could be curing. Um, plus two venom dagger is so good. I feel like... Uh, I don't think I want to train short blades on though. I'm testing to see that there's not a heavier armor anywhere. We've got plenty of strength and we'd like to have more AC if we could get it. I don't think there's any point exploring up there. Dagger of Draining. Alright, well I'm pulling back because I don't want to fight Orc Wizards and the like. Uh, we have run out of things to sling. Alright, so we're using our Dagger of Venom. Here we go. I picked the sling because you don't run out of ammo and we've run out of ammo. And he's gone in biz. Alright, well, we're maybe just gonna die to this orc wizard. I could hop and pick up more sling bullets, but that seems like a waste. Let's see, did I actually hit it? I missed something. Okay. I wanna be. We hit it? So I wanna be keeping track of if I'm potentially poisoning it and how likely I think it is to be dead. Uh, let's look up a monster. If it's gone in biz, that's. The wrong wizard. Orc wizard. That one. If he's gone invis, he has confusion or could just have the other type. Okay, that doesn't help us. As in, that doesn't narrow it down too much. He's trying to affect me. Okay, hang on. That narrows it down, doesn't it? Yes, so he's the type who can confuse us, which is probably better for us because. I think the stack of three potions we have is likely to be curing, whereas the one who's potentially hasting himself and throwing frost and flames, um, maybe that one scares me more. I don't know. In any case, this is bad. I'm very happy we've got a dagger of venom, and I'm very nervous. Okay, we beat him. Whew. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> Alright, well we still don't have any... What has he got? He also has a dagger of venom. Alright, well, we're probably screwed here. Let's hop to our ammo. So we can try to at least get one shot in. Alright, we missed. <laughs> Alright, well, I really hope that we do indeed have um, curing. Because this is looking nasty. Oh, he's shooting us from range as well. Yeah, if this isn't curing, I think we just die. Uh, Alright, well let's quaff one just in case it's... It is curing. Alright, wait, it wasn't, it was heal wounds. Oh god. Okay, so we're still super poisoned. Uh, so we're going to have to hope that we can out heal it. Oh god. Alright, I think we might just die here actually. What else have we got? Uh, scrolls that we don't know. Backslash minus. These... If it's teleport, it's going to be too slow. We know that we don't have fear. Blinking seems unlikely. So I don't think reading scrolls helps. If anything, we should maybe quaff more potions. Um, yeah, let's just quaff more potions. That's magic. That doesn't help. This one is flying. That doesn't help. So we're going to need to kill it and then hope that our two potions of heal wounds keep us alive. Oh my god. Alright, I think we're dead. Come on, Dagger of Venom, as in our Dagger of Venom. Uh, our hop's back. We can hop away and get more sling bullets. Uh, we missed them all. Alright. New plan. Oh, he died. Okay. So he's dead. So let's just cure now. 
Uh, heal wound now. Okay, and we're we're not gonna die. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you can see here that we're not lethally poisoned, so we are extremely poisoned, but not lethally so. Uh, so lucky that that stack was heal wounds. Uh, it wasn't curing, but heal wounds was enough two of them to get us through. That's assuming that nothing else turns up as well. If something else comes, we're in trouble. So maybe I should be running away just in case we've made noise. Uh, and I'm happy to chill here. We're going to pull our hunting sling out and we're going to swing a bit. Oh man. And I would love to find some stones. Apparently there were 14 stones on day one, but I just never picked them up. Uh, I didn't even notice. Okay. Well, those 14 stones would have helped a lot. Okay. Well, it's nothing for it now. We've still got more than 2,000 turns to make it to the temple. So I shouldn't be too crazy. I mean, I wasn't there. It was just that I missed noticing the stones. So we're really in trouble uh, with ammo. Uh, this is a plain orc. It's okay. Uh, maybe it's not okay. Well, let's hop away. We did poison him. Oh, he's throwing stones. Uh, well, we can shoot those back at him. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Those stones really helped. He he brought he brought ammo to us. He has a rune leather armor. Um, I think that is worth testing. We're currently wearing just a plain leather armor. So even if this is just cursed and regular, it's still an upgrade. Uh, and if we're really lucky, it might be, say, an R poison leather armor. It's just plus three. Well, I'll take it. The extra AC is definitely going to help. Uh, well, let's use a bunch more turns than just swinging at nothing. We'll do 20 more. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's get our sling bullets back. And then, if I'm brave enough to go back down to D4, where the phantom is, we could get the rest of our sling bullets back. Uh, and even those javelins. Um, we probably are. I mean, it. Uh, we've got to heal wounds now. I don't know. Uh, well, we're going to quiver the stones by default. Um, the dagger of draining. Uh, I think the venom dagger is just better. The other wizard has a, had a dagger of venom as well. Um, it's unlikely to be better than a plus two, and it could potentially be cursed. So I think I'll just not. Now that we know that we already have a dagger of venom, I'll try it out when we get remove curse. Um, so I'm going to do a loop around here, maybe we're going to loop all, all the way around the back and then we'll go back downstairs again and we'll, even if we don't fight the phantom, we'll at least park him. Okay, we're going to have a bunch of different orcs. I want, want to be as far away from the orc priest as I can. Okay, we want to quiver the sling bullets so we do additional damage. Because the Orc Priest is really scary. Oh, we got the Wizard as well. Okay. That's a big smite. Um, <clears throat> we still have a Heal Wounds. So... Um, he's just got a plain dagger. I actually don't mind the Orc Wizard being on top of us. Uh, because then it's potentially going to wait turns hitting us with dagger. Rather than shooting us with spells, which is scarier. Wizard blinked. He's really nearly dead. Alright, good. We reached level 6, let's go more strength. Our strength lets us wear heavier armor potentially, and it's going to give us more damage with all our attacks. Yeah, I can see why this week is killing so many people. <laughs> uh, being a slow moving, under leveled guy is really hard. 
Uh, you can hit a parenthesis to switch between your quiver weapons as well. You don't have to use shift Q, that's cool. Uh, quivering doesn't take any time either, so you can freely do that in the middle of fights. Am I going to go around the long way? We've, got, we've done 1300 turns. Our temple might be on D7 though, so I don't know how much I want to mess around here. My shift to move is not working. Is it because... No, wait. Ah, there we go. I had numlock off. On. I want it off. Okay, good. Um, are we able to fight a centaur now? Potentially. We know we have a heal wounds. Uh, so maybe I want to go test out what this altar is. I regret my decision. I don't want to be anywhere near the centaur. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously not worth, especially if he's just going to be camping there shooting right at the step. I could I could hop over to him. There's no guarantee that we'd hop where we want to go. Uh, and he's still a danger even with melee. Alright, so I guess if we just don't find Gozag, we'll have to come back. Uh, but our, our number one priority right now, I think, should be just trying to find the temple. Alright. We're going to get our sing bullets back, that's nice. Three scrolls or something. Um, I'm going to read it on the stair, just in case it's teleport. But there's a fourth. We had one of that already, so we've got four. It's probably ID or, Q or remove curse. It's remove curse. So it's test, the other dagger venom. It's plus one, not as good. Uh, maybe I should still carry it with us just in case uh, we find a brand weapon, which I probably should use on the hunting sling. All right, so I just wasted some turns there by dropping, picking up. Oh well, if we miss the temple by two turns, I'll be very sad. It's unlikely. Is there anything else to try now that we have a move curse? No. I should just use the sling. Dagger Venom is going to do nothing to the Hound Zombie. Um, and I like that the Phantom isn't here, so maybe... Wait, no. This Phantom... Maybe it is just a one Phantom and it's just wandering everywhere. Uh, in which case, that lets us go ha have a peek on D6. But I think we're better off checking out the Altars first. Although, oh, I see a one that's amazing. I also want the Javelins. Also amazing. Uh, we've got 3.5 throwing skill, so the javelins do a lot of damage. Uh, we throw them slowly, but especially if we sneak up on something and it's still asleep, so uh, we won't miss because it's asleep, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, we got a wand of power. That's amazing. What's our evocation skill? It's plus one. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. New plan. Dodging turns off at four, uh, and we are going to focus evocations. Uh, having evocations on a one of paralysis this early, uh, when we've got a plus one evocation and we're going to be under leveled and diving, is going to be really useful. Because if I meet something really scary that I can't run from, like men cure, men cure, or have you say, it, or I don't know, someone like Harold or something like that, I can paralyze it. Uh, even this phantom, no, we don't have such a good chance on that. But we might just be able to fight the phantom. Uh, we can shoot it from the stair, and because it's a blinker, it's going to be spending a lot of time just being away from us. Let's take him up though. Yeah, this is going a lot better than I expected. I guess we have 7 AC and 13 evasion. Alright, got him. Uh, brings our slings to 6, our dodging to 4, and our evocations immediately got to 1. Oh, that last one, did I throw a javelin? Oh, because I ran out of stuff, so we just threw the javelin. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's go back. Let's get all our things again. Um, altars. Uh, we should keep going that way and get the rest of our sling bullets. We'll wrap back around afterwards, get that food, head up to those altars. More food there. It is another phantom. 
Um, I'll shoot it once to alert it, and then I want to back it up. I don't want to be fighting it. I guess there isn't too much unknown down there, but I'd still rather be on a stair so I can bring it back up to d4. Yeah, we're going to be doing javelins again. Got him. Javelins are good, turns out. Alright, let's keep going. If we could just find a nice big stack of sling bullets, uh, that would be really great. Um, am I going to run all the way up there? We've got... We're still under 1500 turns, so we're we're still we're still not even quite halfway. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna run to that one. I'm gonna run to this one, and then we're gonna do that one, and then we're gonna go downstairs. And if we find the temple and we don't find Gozag, uh, then we'll we can come back. But our priority is still getting challenge one, which is make the temple. Alright, uh, so this is a really good time to throw a javelin. The Orc Wizard's asleep. Uh, so it doesn't matter if we do a really slow item. We can throw it really slowly. It's going to hit. Okay, uh, and here's a priest. I'm going to throw the javelin at that too. And then there's also a centaur behind it. Uh, now nightmare material. So the first thing we do is hop as far away as we can. Um, Really happy that we have the paralysis wand. I think maybe the centaur didn't see us. So if we could just fight the priest on its own, that'd be great. We'll pull out our sling. Uh, if we get smoke for half our HP, we've got a 50% chance to paralyze it. I actually think I just want to do that. All right, yeah, that, that works better. Uh, because even if we don't die to the orc priest, I don't want to have to then rest up a huge amount of time. Uh, let's swing a bit with our sling though. I want to be higher HP to fight the centaur. Although again we could probably just paralyze it. Or I could again just ignore it. Ignore that altar and then just keep going. But I think with paralysis one we can fight a centaur. Yeah I think we're good. This is so stressful. <laughs> All right, uh, the centaur came and we're near the the corner. So this is actually perfect. If he comes adjacent to us, we wouldn't have to do anything too crazy. I'm gonna yell. Come at me, centaur. Let's yell again. There he is. Okay. So I step up to it. So now that we're adjacent, he's not gonna shoot his bow anymore. I should quiver sling bullets though. This is going horrible, we've got to heal wounds and we can paralyze. But I think in melee, yeah. Yeah, we're okay. And to reward me, please be a Gozag altar. I picked up the chainmail because it's heavier, but I actually, I don't think it will be better than the leather armor. Um, I guess we can definitively find out by putting it on. It's a trog altar. Okay, not what I was after. Let's try it though. So we're 7, 13, which is 20 in total. 9 and 7, 18. That's worse. So we can drop the chain now. And then let's check out these other altars up the top. Grab the food on the way. Got a scroll. Two of something. Uh, well, I oh another wand, perfect. Give me another another one that scales with evocations. Please be an enslavement one. That'd be perfect. Um, what did I want to do? I think I just want to read this scroll. Yeah, because we know. Uh, no, it'll be annoying though if I read a teleport right now. 
It's Ice Blast with 13 charges. That is amazing. Uh, <laughs> but first let's Javelin the Orc Wizard. We nearly kill it. It's good. Well, I am definitely glad that I spent this extra time exploring D5 um, rather than continuing to dive for Temple. I should just hit him with the Venom Dagger. Uh, because a 13 charge Ice Blast one when we've been training evocations is going to be amazing. Uh, I feel like that alone can probably carry us to the Temple now. Uh, which is good because we're Oh, 1800. Okay, we've still got a bit of time up our sleeve. Uh, no go, Zach. Alright. Let's keep going. There's an ash altar. Uh, let's read one of these scrolls, hoping that's ID. It is. So we'll do our potion. Uh, and I think rather than ID this last scroll, I'll just wait. Alright, so we need the temple, please, game. And I know for sure that we haven't missed it because we've been magic mapping, right? Go, there's no T. Yeah, okay, we definitely haven't missed it. More javelins? Javelins of returning. Alright. So for all that talk about how I didn't want to be a throwing javelin guy, uh, we've been finding so many javelins. It's kind of crazy. Alright, we've got bit over 1100 turns to find the temple if we want to get this challenge um, I'm seeing stone walls to our right it looks like the metal walls are sort of native to this floor but the stone walls are different so that might be a temple entrance for so we're gonna head that way Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice. There's our temple. All right, we made it. Uh, let's quickly run in. Here's an orc warrior. Uh, we can paralyze him later. Let's just jump in so I can at least claim my uh, my bonus point one for making it to the temple in 3k turns. Oh, tomahawks as well. Let's just pick up all the throwing stuff. So we've now got javelins, tomahawks. Uh... Javelins of returning and so on. Okay, this is great. Uh, now, Gozag, be here. Not on that side. This looks like a really small temple. It's probably in one of the ones that we skipped. Okay, yep, no Gozag. There is Mekleb, though. So Mekleb is one of our, our potential challenge ones. Um, I really wanted to do... Gozag, but we haven't found him. There's one altar up here. And then we know there's an altar over there. Hmm. The other issue is that we're trying to get a rune in 15,000 turns. So we don't have a huge amount of time to um, be walking around looking for the correct god. So I think the correct decision might actually be to just worship McCleb. Uh But I'm going to think about it. So that's going to be it for episode 1. If you join me in episode 2, we'll continue this very nerve-wracking experience um, and we'll pick a god. See you then.